Hey there, Rose Hedberg here, your writing coach and the founder of Ideas Right Now. In today's video, I will be talking all about my life as a freelance grant writer living abroad. Let's take a look. Contrary to the word writing being in my job title, my job consists of so much more than writing. Particularly as a freelance grant writer, I'd say that my day-to-day -day consists more of project management and planning than it does actual writing. And living abroad hasn't changed too much of the aspects of my job, though I'll mention some of those changes here. To give you a bit more detail about what my day looks like as a grant writer, I'm going to talk about organization, how to start off the day. Um, how I balance my workload, and of course, what it's like to be living abroad and working as a freelance grant writer. Let's talk about organization first. I am a creative extrovert that is so easily distracted by new ideas and notifications, and because of this, I really have to start off my day organized. I have to make a plan. Otherwise, my productivity goes out the window. I do this through a project management software called Asana. I love Asana. It is clear and organized, color-coded. There are fun things that shoot across the screen when you accomplish these tasks. On a good day, I will start off by accomplishing that big ticket task. Something either that's gonna demand a high volume of my time or high volume of my energy. Sometimes it might be a task that I've been putting off for a couple days that I really need to accomplish because it's causing me some anxiety. So I plan to accomplish that one first. Having accomplished it, it's gonna give me all that energy to keep going throughout the rest of my day. Realistically, I have some days where I don't have the energy, especially living as an expat. Some of my client meetings are late at night. So the following day, I might plan for a lighter day, starting in with smaller tasks, such as editing something I wrote the day before, because editing for me is a little less demanding. Maybe it's answering a specific email, or maybe I have to plan to for an easy win, like walking my dog, something to get the wheels turning for the day. Either way, whether it's a light plan um, or easy tasks or a heavy plan with heavier tasks, I still make a plan and I stick to it. The next thing I do once I have a plan is my favorite part of the day. I engage in my personal writing practice. I do this not only because I absolutely love writing, but I also want to continue to flex the muscles of writing even if my day-to-day -day is not including tasks where I'm flexing those writing muscles. My writing practice may look different than yours, that's okay, this is just how I do it every day. I start with a little bit of light reading and I read a writing book, something that's gonna get me inspired, something that's going to motivate me to practice. I don't read fiction in the morning just because I'm too easily, again, easily distracted and entertained. So right now I'm rereading Writing Down the Bones by Natalie Goldman. Some other great books are Bird by Bird, maybe Stephen King's On Writing, or if you're in for a deeper literary dive, I highly recommend Margaret Atwood's On Writers and Writing. And once I've finished a little bit of light reading, I'm in that creative zone, then I actually like to put my fingers to the keyboard and practice. I do 15 minutes of free flow and I personally do it with my eyes closed. I know this sounds crazy, but I urge you to try it because when you remove a sense, the other senses are heightened and it's kind of just, I know I'm geeking out about writing here, but it's a really fun way to engage in what your actual thoughts are. It's the closest I've gotten to like a free flow state or a flow state, like the quickest is writing with my eyes closed. Anyway, I digress. This is my own personal practice. This helps me to get motivated for the day. I kind of get some of my anxieties out by free writing and I just get that energy going. So I am ready to tackle that plan. So I'm organized, I've engaged in my personal writing practice, I'm feeling good. And with my plan, I'm ready to get started. Every day is different, especially as a freelancer. You're managing different clients and different projects. Your tasks could include anything from researching a grant opportunity and instrumental, vetting for alignment, it could be building a budget for a client, it could be working on a grant narrative, or it could just be corresponding, finding new leads for new clients, i.e. new paying jobs. I found for me, just knowing my own personal work ethic, is that I need to plan my high cognition tasks as early in the morning as possible because I'm energized, I am more with it and 
technical in the morning. So maybe that's narrative writing or research. And then I reserve those remedial tasks or less high cognitive tasks for the afternoon when I'm a little more tired or sleepy from lunch. Those might be just correspondence, planning, or following leads. That's my own personal style of balancing my tasks. Let's talk about the fun stuff. What is it like to be a grant writer that is living and working abroad? I have lived abroad for six years. I've lived in Vietnam and New Zealand, and I currently live in Casablanca, Morocco, where I am running my freelance grant writing business. How is my day-to-day -day different than perhaps yours if you're working in the US? The biggest difference for me is that every day I have to make sure and schedule around meetings I might have with my US-based clients. Because I work in US time zones, that means my meetings will be in the early evening Morocco time, like 6, 7, 8 p.m. versus how they might be for you if you are in the U.S. in the early morning. So I got to make sure that on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm reflecting that work. I'm cognizant if I have a late night meeting, then that day in the morning or early afternoon, I will take it very easy, perhaps do some more personal work or enjoy some time off because I know I have to work late. So I'm very good at making sure I only have meetings on one, maybe two days a week so that I'm flexible, but I'm not exhausted. The other thing that's different in my day to day as a grant writer living abroad is that I schedule time for travel. Yes. So in my Asana board, I only have tasks on Monday through Thursday, Friday. I have small tasks of maybe like email correspondence, but normally I have Fridays off. Why? Because I moved abroad to travel. I became a grant writer so I could travel and believe me, I'm doing that. So this is a little bit of how I structure my day as a freelance grant writer and the differences of living abroad. I'm curious, how do you structure your day as a grant writer? And do you have any interest in doing the work that you do while also living abroad? Drop us a comment below. We'd love to hear. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you never miss a video. Thanks and happy writing.